Hi everybody, we're now going to look at the determinants of price elasticity of supply. What causes the PES to be elastic or inelastic? And how do we remember the factors that determine this? So the basics of this, we know that if the price of something goes up, firms will want to increase the supply because they'll know that they'll be making more money from every unit that they're selling. And therefore they'll want to supply more. But what we want to look at is, can they supply more? Are they able to supply more when they want to? The definition of price elasticity of supply, as we know, is the responsiveness of the supply of a product to a change in its price. So how much can supply respond when there's a change in price? If the price goes up, can they supply more? And a way to remember this is with this acronym, SFA, if you look up SFA, you'll see that that stands for something else as well, which might help you to remember this. The S here stands for stock. If you have a stock of something, it's like a store of something. You have it sitting in a warehouse or sitting somewhere just waiting so that you're able to supply it when you want to. So if you have something in stock, this will mean that your PES will be more elastic because your supply will be able to respond more easily when there's an increase in the price. If you want to supply more, you'll be able to because you can just take it out of your store or your stock and you can supply it to the market. If you can't store the product, then perhaps it won't be as elastic because you're not able to release things from the store. So a question to ask here is, is the product perishable? If something's perishable, it perishes, it means that it rots and it decays and therefore you can't store it. So is the product perishable? So for example, something like strawberries are very perishable. You can't keep them a long time. Even if you leave strawberries in the fridge overnight, the next day they won't be very nice. They're perishable. So you couldn't put a lot of those in store. Whereas something like gold or silver or even coffee beans, you can store those for longer than you can something like strawberries and therefore the PES would be more elastic. F stands for factors of production. And we know that our factors of production are land, labor, capital and enterprise. If you have factors of production available to use to produce something, if the price goes up and you want to supply more, you're going to be able to supply more because your factors of production are available. So if lots of them are available, your PES will be more elastic. However, if you don't have factors of production available at short notice, then you're not going to be able to suddenly increase your supply when you want to. A is the amount of time that's available to you. If you have more time available, this will mean that your PES will be more elastic. So for example, if the price of your product goes up and you want to supply more, in the next five seconds, you won't be able to supply more. However, in the next five years, you'll be able to supply a lot more. You can definitely respond to the change in price and supply a lot more. And therefore, the more time that you have, the more elastic your PES becomes. So if we just put that down here, if you have five seconds, your PES is going to be likely very inelastic. If you have five years, your PES will be very elastic. In the case of coffee, over five years, you can plant new coffee plants. You can train more people to be able to work in your coffee farm. And therefore, your PES would be much more elastic. Also, over the five years, you can build up stocks. It takes us back to this. And that, again, would make your PES more elastic.